Hey guys, welcome back to how to build your own hydrofoil from scratch at home. In this video, we'll be going through sealing the wood. So up until now, we've already shaped our foil. So in the previous videos, we've brought, we've created our wings. And in this video, we're just going to go through sealing the wood prior to fiberglass in. So why would you do that? Really, when you're dealing with wood, the purpose of sealing the wood first is just so that the resin doesn't absorb at different rates in different areas of the wood. So if you were to put your fiberglass on and then you know you coat it with the resin and the resin starts soaking into the wood, if that is absorbing at different rates in different areas of the grain, for instance, if we look at this, the wood, the resin will absorb more in there and less in the darker brown areas and that's just the density of the wood so more of it will absorb. Then you can run into trouble with the lamination. So what we do first is just seal it. All that is is basically mixing up some of the same resin that you'd be using for the rest of the job and just painting it on like you'd paint anything with a paintbrush. So I'll just quickly talk about the product that we're using. So I'm using Entropy Resins uh, and this is the epoxy resin system that we've used for all of the foils and all of the surfboards that we make. Um, it's, it's said to be a bio resin, it's really easy to work with and I really enjoy using this resin. We're not sponsored by them, we pay for this resin, uh, but I really think it's worth it. That said, you could definitely find some cheaper resins um, and an epoxy system is what I suggest that you look for. But if you're in an area that you can buy this, I really, I really recommend it. It's such a nice resin system. So what we'll be doing is just basically mixing up some resin and then painting it on. Before we do that, what I like to do in order just to make it a bit easier to handle is the screw holes that we already have set out I like to wind the screw in just to the end of the thread, about there, and there, and then you can poke it in to the holes that we already had and just nip it up. And what that will do is you can see it just holds it off the block. So we can basically paint everything and still handle it and it won't, it won't have to rest it on anything when it's drying. So I'll do that for both of the wings. Of course we want to be nice and gentle with these wings now, especially with the trailing edges, they're so thin. And also with fingerprints, so just nice clean hands. straight back into those holes we already were using. Just nip them up a little bit. Okay, so now if we go to the resin system, first thing I wanna do, definitely gloves all the time when using resin, it gets all over your hands, hard to get off. Uh, and this particular system uses a part A and part B, like they all will, but this one's really nice because it's two parts A and one part B, and it's by weight. So I actually use a scale in order to mix up. So we'll just zero the, um, the scale. I'll actually mix up about 60 grams, it's a bit easier. So that would be 40 grams of part A and 20 grams of part B. So I've gone a little bit over there. So 48, so it's pretty easy though, because it's just two parts and one part. So basically that's gonna be 24, so I just zero it again. You're just doing half of that last pin. I'm gonna go 24. Okay. So it's gone up a little bit, but you've got 10% uh, room to play. So a bit of a variance if you don't pour it exactly right. I just need a stirring stick, here it is. And so when you're stirring it, you really want to really stir this maybe for even two minutes. You've got to make sure that it's really well mixed, particularly when you're laminating with the fiberglass because 
If it's not, then it will really never set. Well, it will take months to set. So this, so we'll basically mix this for about two minutes and then we're ready to paint it on just with an ordinary paintbrush. I've got a disposable paintbrush here. And then, uh, yeah, we'll basically, once this is painted, we just wanna make sure there's not too many drips. We will be lightly sanding it before the next step but this will seal it all, it'll make sure the wood doesn't move and it'll also make the next step of laminating the uh, fiberglass on a lot easier as well. Okay, so now I've been mixing for about two minutes. You just wanna make sure you're scraping everything off the bottom, scraping all the way around the sides and clearing your stick a few times just to make sure that it's well mixed. So now that I'm happy that that's all mixed up, I'll just move this out of the way quickly. And then let's paint it. You just want an even coat. It doesn't need to be thick. It's just a thin coat of resin. So I like to just sort of start by pouring some on. Makes it easier than actually painting. The best working temperature for this resin is about 25 degrees Celsius. At the moment, the outside temperature is about three degrees Celsius. So I've got the heater on here and we, I'll leave that heater on, I'll close up the container here and, and let it sort of get nice and warm. Um, but as hopefully I can get it to at least 17 degrees, which is sort of the minimum temperature. But I found that even if I use this even in colder temperatures, it will still set. It just takes a bit longer to actually go off. It's always nice putting the first coat of, of a, a resin or a varnish or an oil on the wood because it totally brings the color out of the wood. So as you can see, we're just painting it just like you would anything. Just trying to keep it even. It will, you'll probably find that it does create a couple of drips as it's drying, it'll run off the trailing edge and it'll actually drip, but Okay, and you can just sort of just rest it on the uh, screws for a minute. You know, it looks like I am going to need this amount of resin that I mix, so it's kind of lucky that I went a bit over because the colder temperatures, it's a bit thicker than usual. You can actually, it's not a bad idea to bring your resin up to a particular temperature like warm the resin if you're in a colder climate. I mean, if you're in a warm climate, it's really not gonna matter. If you're in a really hot climate, what you'd be looking for then is that it doesn't go off too quickly on you, especially when we're actually doing the laminating. It's not gonna be a problem now, but. All right, and then we'll flip it back over. You can see some of the resin actually already starting to pull there, get this out. It's a bit of build up. Actually just gonna get a bit of this off. It will slowly run down to the trailing edge and to the leading edge, so you don't want to have too much on there. Just a thin coat is all we're really looking for. Just getting some of the excess off there. Okay, so now just trying to remove any of those drips. 
and that looks that looks good. So I'll just move this back, and let's do the front wing. I might actually do the underside first with this one. It's a bit smaller, so it might not pour it on, but just paint it on. Okay, so again, just try and even out the resin. It does have a tendency to sort of self-level, particularly if it's a bit colder and it's got longer to sit before it sets. Right, something like that. Okay, so they look great, I think, uh, and that's that's done for the day. So basically, the resin leave it 24 hours in between processes. So something about building these foil is that. Uh, from this point on, I mean that was sort of the hardest work I would say and then from this point on there's lots of individual processes so day after day because we will laminate the bottom then we'll you know we'll do some fillers, we'll laminate the top then we'll hot coat the bottom, hot coat the top and so it takes multiple days but it's only an hour or two a day. So look that's exciting. I think what's great about getting it to this point is that that's the shape now so we're not going to change the shape. All we're going to do is reinforce it with the carbon and, and fiberglass layup um, and so so yeah, exciting stuff. Great. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.